This is the High Hill Camping Lantern Light. It has dual power modes, um, which consist of two lithium batteries as one power source. It can also be powered by three AA batteries, which are not included. When the battery is low or the lithium batteries can't be charged. Uh, there's also an option to charge USB devices from the lantern when those devices are in need of a charge. Although this device is not per a professional power bank, it's designed only as a temporary power bank for an emergency. Because it only delivers 2,000 milliamper hours, which isn't much of a charge, I doubt it would fully charge a cell phone, but can charge it enough to make calls in case of emergency. The design is compact, it's very small, but it telescopics open, telescopes open, <laughs> to emit the light when it's on. And just for size comparison, here's a can of soda, and uh, here's the lantern size. So it's just a little bit taller than a can of soda and a little bit wider when it's fully closed and compacted. What you get with this product is the lantern itself, the box, a charging or discharging cable, and a belt clip or a hanger clip to hang it um, from something. The brightness level is 185 lumens at its highest brightness, and it is, utilizes 15 LED lights. The low light uh, mode emits 60 lumens. It also has a, an additional six red LED lights uh, with low energy consumption. It has four modes, high, low, red light, red light flashing, that is controlled by a light at toggle switch on the side, and I'll show you that in a second. Um, it's the working time is four and a half hours at 185 lumens and nine hours at the 60 lumens, four hours with the red flashing light. And that's with the rechargeable lithium batteries inside. When those die down, you can either recharge it if you're able to, or you can use three batteries to power it. So let's see how it works here. One thing that the instructions do not tell you, it's not anywhere in the description on Amazon and it's not in the manual or anywhere. When this comes, the lithium batteries are in the base. You have to take the base off, which you just turn and then pull the lid off, and there's your lithium batteries. They've got these two paper plastic tabs on here which are wedged between the battery and the connector. You have to remove these tabs in order for the lithium batteries to work and charge. If without re removing those tabs, the lithium batteries are going to be useless at the bottom. So you have to do that, and that's not listed anywhere in the device, uh, in the manual, or the description on Amazon. It's got a cover here for, right there, it has a cover here for you to input uh, a charging cable to charge it up. And it does come with the USB, um, micro USB plugs. You can put it in there and then plug the bigger part into a, a wall adapter or a laptop to charge it up. Or if you want to use this as a power bank, you can plug the bigger USB plug into here and the smaller end into a cell phone that uses micro USB to charge it up. But again, it's not a professional power bank. It only has 2,000 milliamp hour charge. So it's enough to get you a, a little bit of a charge to make an emergency call, but it's not something you want to use to charge your entire phone up. Um, it's got an indicator light on the side right here that's green when it's fully charged, and it's red when it's a low, low battery or it's charging. At the top, there's another compartment that you unscrew and take off, and you can put three AA batteries in there and close it back up and that will charge the light if the lithium batteries are dead. Or So when you run out of a charge with the lithium batteries, you can use three AA batteries to charge it. Okay, I kind of lowered the lights in here so we can uh, 
see what kind of light this puts out. To turn it on, it's real easy. It telescopes open. So let me pull back a little bit. And you just pull it open. And the light's on inside. And it's got four modes. It's got a bright mode, which it's in now. And here's the toggle switch to control the mode. You push it again. And it lowered the light level. It dimmed it. Press it again, it turns into a red light. It looks yellow in the camera, but it's a red light with the with the naked eye. And you push it again, and it's a red flashing light for like an emergency flash or a beacon or whatever. Press it again, it goes back to bright. Um, bright, dim, red, red flashing. To turn it off, you have to push the telescope part back into the lamp itself. And that turns it off. It's got two metal wire hangers here. And again, it does come with a a belt clip that you can clip on and then you can hang this for wherever, wherever you'd like to keep light. The instruction manual says that the base is magnetic but that's not true. The base does have non-slip uh, rubber feet on it to st stop it from sliding but it's not magnetic even though the manual said it was. Weight of the lantern without the triple a, uh, without the double A batteries on the top is 13 and 38 ounces. That does include the weight of the lithium batteries at the bottom, but not the AA batteries at the top. When it's fully compressed and turned off, it is 5 inches tall, and the diameter is 3 and a quarter inches. When it's telescoped open with the light on, it expands to uh, 7 and a quarter inches tall. And it doesn't need to be opened all the way for the light to turn on. You can just open it a crack and the light will stay on. So if you kind of want to adjust the, put it on the, uh, adjust the light level, you can open it all the way to have a lot of light and close it till it's almost closed or just for a little bit of light. If you push it all the way closed, it'll turn off. And again, there's a dim switch. So if you open it all the way, it's dimmer than the full light. But again, if you just want to, just a little bit of light, you can close it till it's almost closed all the way. Um, there is an indicator light on the button that toggles the different modes. Um, when it turns red is when the battery is low and needs to be charged again. Um, when it's on, it's, turned, it's blue. And when it's off, it'll turn to green if the battery is okay. If the battery needs charging, it'll turn to red. So to charge the lithium battery, you just plug in the USB micro end into the lantern here. And uh, plug the other end of the USB into a power adapter, wall adapter, or a, a laptop. And the other USB here is if you want to use this as a charging unit as a battery, you plug the big end of the USB down at the bottom and plug the small end of your cord, which is there, into a USB device to charge it up. Another, another thing to mention that this is not waterproof. Um, it's got a waterproof rating of IPX5, which means that uh, the 5 indicates that you can't submerge it. It's good for a nozzle of uh, water sprayed from a nozzle, 6 and a 6 millimeters away just to run down the side and it's okay with that but if you submerge it or expose it to more water the water will get in the circuitry and damage it you cannot submerge this it seems like it's fine out in the rain for a little bit but it is not waterproof by any means so my conclusion is that this is a great little lantern. It's compact and lightweight, less than a pound. It lasts a long time. The base is non-slip, but it's not magnetic. That would be a nice addition. And uh, you rem remember to take out the little slips of uh, the tabs by the lithium batteries if you want the lithium battery to work. Um, you can operate it with the AAA battery, I mean, sorry, the AA batteries on the top and the lithiums on the bottom. And I'm not sure which power source it pulls from, but you can leave the AAA, uh, the AA batteries, the three AA batteries in the top 
with using the lithium batteries at the bottom, but I don't know if it drains both or uses the lithium batteries first. There's nothing in the directions or specifications that shows which one uh, battery drains first or if they drain con concurrently. So, yeah, there you have it. It's a nice bright light. If you go camping, it's um, easy to take along. And uh, batteries should last over um, nine hours in the, the lit, the dim lit mode, which is plenty enough time if you leave it on all night. Um, if you run out of the charge on the lithium batteries, it has the option of using the three AA batteries as a power source. So if you have any questions, let me know. Um, Oh, I forgot to mention that the material is, it says PC and aluminum alloy. So it's definitely plastic at parts of it. The handles are metal. And the aluminum alloy, I'm not sure where's that at. But it seems sturdy enough and it seems rugged enough. And it's, um, I'm definitely going to take it on my next camping trip. If you have any questions, ask me below. If you found this review helpful, click that below that you found it helpful. I'd appreciate it. Bye!